Hey there, Sagittarius. Hope you guys' this week has been good to you. Appreciate you guys. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for your highest good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. Talk about Sagittarius. What are we talking about, please? Got a high-vibing man here. Two more. Got somebody here that's not. People are panicking. Let me get another one. Something was denied. They can't, they don't, they can't get to, to your man. You are leveling up. We got a boss woman here that's been trying to, to keep her hands tightly grasped on you and this masculine here. All right. This woman's threatened by you. You keep leveling up and she feels threatened because you're about to dethrone this hoe and take your, her spot is actually your spot. Overall energy for Sagittarius. Somebody wanted you stuck in fear. Somebody tried to like also keep this masculine in a fear-based energy and that didn't work. Fear is an illusion. We're going to punch that hard in the crotch, guys. We're learning to trust ourselves. Somebody wanted you to be in like a paranoid, fear, doubting mindset. You're learning to trust yourself. You're learning to trust that inner voice that you have. Somebody's in grief. <clears throat> you got somebody here that... Somebody's like trying to come back around and trying to like guilt trip somebody. I feel like this is on your masculine's end. It could be on my fem my feminine's ends as well. Balancing everything out. Bringing so much perfect balance towards yourself. Your masculine's doing this as well. Balancing everything out. Somebody is definitely trying to use some kind of guilt tripping behavior on somebody here whether it's you or this masculine here somebody has definitely been working overtime to try to guilt trip somebody here Sagittarius go enjoy your pleasures alone this is you tapping into your magic abilities some of you guys may resonate as witches felt like you were a witch in a past life if you are drawn to certain things like witchcraft occult the esoterics it's because of who you were in a past life don't shy away from that some of you guys may have like witch wounds which you may be like afraid to go after, like to research witchcraft, do witchcraft, or you may have like fear of like speaking in public. You do, you may have like issues with like things around your neck as well too. That's because of the way that you, your life ended in a past life. So somebody needs to hear that. All right. So we're enjoying our, our pleasure alone. We're tapping into our intuition. We're loving life. We're chilling. That's bringing more balance towards us. We're moving out of that fear energy. Somebody wanted you to stay stuck in fear. You went through an isolation period. You've been coming up the staircase here. You're, you're coming out to the top here, and your, your victory is yours. So somebody thought that they had you down and out because they put you through an isolation period, but this is where you let your magic happen. And like you do not back down from challenges. If anything, you overcome them, and you come back stronger. This is where somebody underestimated you. Sagittarius. I surround myself with the white light of protection. Only good energy is allowed around. Blah, blah. Only good energy is allowed around and in my space here. So this is like you also learning to protect yourself, not only energetically but your uh, physical as well. This is like not letting anybody have access to you, and then again learning how to protect yourself energetically as well. Always wrap yourself in a white light of protection. Like keep, like stay in that like. Just always picture yourself like wrapping yourself in a white light or even like a violet purple light. Whatever works best for you, that helps protect yourself energetically here. You are love. You are kind and loving to others. And you are attracting more love towards you because you are this. Somebody wanted to like try to run over you because you are love. Somebody was like trying to take your kindness for weakness and you are not weak at all. At all. Your love is very powerful. It outpowers any type of darkness that tried to come for you, by the way. It, out, it outpowers any darkness that just circles around you. Sagittarius. Getting rid of this lack mentality here. So we're changing things up. We're reprogramming our minds. We're telling us that we can have things. We're not going to talk down on ourselves anymore. We're not going to tell ourselves that we can't have this and we can't do this. If you do that, that's what it's going to be, guys. We're going to change that thought process up entirely here. So many things we're trying to limit you in life. You are meant to be limitless, guys. 
We're getting rid of these unhealthy relationships. You dealt with a lot of toxic connections in all areas of your life. We're getting rid of this. We're removing it all together. We went around people that are going to uplift us, not tear us down. Your masculine's also been around some toxicity themselves. Your masculine is learning to release the toxicity around them as well. Sagittarius. A new romantic cycle is beginning. This is your masculine coming towards you. Your masculine is becoming balanced. The feminine is becoming balanced. And because you both are be learning to become balanced on your own uh, personal life, you're bringing that balance together in a union here. Your masculine could have strong Libra placements here. Something personal is coming towards you. There's some kind of resolution here. There's something that some kind of answer that you've been waiting for. You're going to get that answer. Strong cancer placements, your dreams and your practical plan. So you have some kind of vision for your life, a dream for your life. There's a reason that you have that because you already have it in another timeline. Don't let anybody take that from you. When we start getting these changes coming towards us, we're going to have to use some kind of pr practicality to maneuver around it. So sometimes change is scary when you've only known a certain thing your entire life and that new changes come towards you. You're going to have to like move through that. Don't be too compulsive. Move with like a... A practicality to it and make sure that you're just not like like you're not you're not getting overwhelmed by it you'll you'll know what to do your energy is gaining momentum and everybody's panicking your masculine's energy is gaining momentum and everybody's panicking luck is on your side Sagittarius you've got a beautiful like again there's something here that you was targeting that you wanted for yourself and this is what's happening for you this luck is working for you right now and everybody is very much aware of this. That's why they're all panicking. All right. Tell me about this masculine. This masculine is becoming the best version of himself. Tell me about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your masculine is very much standing in his independency here. Your masculine is standing up for what's right for him. He is very much in his like own solitude right now. And just very much working on becoming the best version of himself. This is good, masculine. We're proud of you. Tell me more. High Priestess, you're masculine. Okay, this masculine has some kind of power and magic abilities to them. Whether they're aware of it or not, they 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 somebody powerful here. Your masculine's staying quiet. Your masculine's learning not to react. He's not he is not feeding into like lies and deception anymore. He is keeping his silence and he is definitely like, man, this masculine's powerful, dude. Okay. All right, this masculine wants the priestess. This masculine's got his own magic abilities. He wants to match that with you. No wonder people are threatened by this, this couple here. These are two powerful people, man. Look at all this conflict and chaos been trying to come for your masculine. Your masculine's been hit with some challenges here. So this masculine's learning not to react to things that once was reacting to. Three swords. This masculine's had his heart hurt. This masculine's dealt with deception and betrayal. There is like outside influences trying to get to this masculine. Because this masculine is meant to, to come towards you. This masculine is definitely not wanting to like... They're not entertaining things that they once were. This masculine is very much realizing that they have been dissatisfied with their life. And they are wanting change. And this is what this masculine's doing. Good for you, masculine. This masculine's got some beautiful things headed their way. And everybody's very much aware of this. This masculine wants to, to commit to you. This masculine is showing up as the king of pentacles. This masculine wants like marriage with you. They see long-term commitment with you. This masculine was in some kind of like commitment, whether there was a marriage involved, but there was somebody that was like basically just used masculine for what he could have. So this masculine was like loyal to a default here. This masculine is learning to stay committed to themselves until they're able to come into union with you. All right. Tell me about this horror flick. These people, they got popcorn in their hand. These people involved thought they were going to have a good old time gossiping and trying to get in the way of you and your person here. Tell me about this. Oh, yeah. Somebody was bringing up past. So the past is like coming up to like smack some people in the face. This is what people were saying behind the scenes about you and your masculine. It's all coming back out on these people and they're very much aware. There's a powerful past life connection that you have with this masculine and everybody is like, Scared as hell but for this to come together. Tell me more. Look at that. Five of Wands, man. Oh, these people are like conflicted as hell. 
fighting with each other. This is a lot of people that stirred up a lot of drama and chaos, not for not only for you, but for your masculine, is catching back up to these people now. Three of Swords. Those are these outside naysayers that tried to get in the way of not only you and your masculine here. And they're realizing that they're the ones having the betrayal, the deception. They're the ones heartbroken. They're the one experiencing losses. And not, they're not doing good. These people didn't want to see you, either one of you guys, have the best versions of yourself or to, to come into union together. Everybody's very much aware that they ain't getting what they thought they were getting. They're, they're receiving the losses. And everybody is very much aware of what's coming towards you and this masculine here. Somebody did not want to see this masculine commit to you. Somebody got left behind by their mask by this masculine. So somebody is very much aware of what's coming for both of you here. These people are very much panicking. Tell me about this denied energy. Something was denied. It didn't work. Somebody was trying to come to, towards somebody with a love offer and it didn't work. I don't know if this was on your masculine's end or the feminine's end, but either way, it didn't work for either one of you guys. Both of you guys could have dealt with this. You're not accepting any, just any love offer here. So something's denied. Tell me more. Yeah. This third party energy was denied. It's, it's not happening. Somebody here is not happy with the outcome because they couldn't get what they wanted to. Somebody was sure that they were going to be able to make this happen, but it's not. Somebody was trying to get somebody to commit to somebody here, and it's not working. Somebody is moving on. Somebody is keeping their guard up here, and it's not playing out like somebody thought it was going to. You both have fighter spirits within you. Like, you guys get knocked down, you get back up. Like, you guys are not to be played with. Like, you guys are freaking fighters, man. No wonder they don't want you guys together. Time about leveling up. Plus, you guys are both powerful. Tell me about this. Nine of Cups. Because you're learning to pour into yourself, seeing the beauty within self, seeing the value within self, you are making wish fulfillments come toward you. You're not playing into these selfish, greedy energies anymore, and that is making you level up. Because you're taking action to become the change, to be the change, to receive the change, that is making you level up. The more that people take action to come up against you, the more it makes you level up here. You're learning to walk away from things. You're learning not to react. You're, you're learning not to do that tit for tat, and that is making you level up. Somebody's going back and forth because they can't stop you from leveling up. They can't stop this masculine from leveling up. Everything that has been sent to knock you off balance only brings you back into balance that much stronger for yourself. The truth, the clarity, you speaking your truth, you opening that throat chakra, no longer being silenced. That is making you level up. And that rebirth energy is making you level up. You ending things that are no longer in alignment with who you are is making you level up. You're letting these endings be endings what they need to be and you're no longer looking back at the past. That is making you level up. Beautiful. Talk about this boss woman. This boss lady <clears throat> was involved in trying to stop you, trying to stop the masculine, trying to stop this union. Tell me about this heifer. She's in some kind of contract that she doesn't want to see you have a contract because it's going to rip up her contract that is false. Oh, this, this woman's wicked as hell. The darkness lies within this one. Phew. This woman has been obsessively trying to tucker you and your masculine out. It's not working. Oh, this one's in her head over you. She doesn't want to be exposed. Yeah, look at her. She's in her head. This is one delusional heifer. She wanted you to be illusioned. She wanted you to be confused. She wanted you to be perceived as a delusional basket case. That's what she's getting now. This woman's been trying to take action on you. This woman's been doing everything in her power to try to stop you altogether. She is very manipulative here. She's been trying to coerce your masculine here with emotional manipulation. It's not working. This woman is tied, tied into an emperor. This woman's all about power and control and greed. That's all she cares about. She only cares about herself. She's, oh, she's hateful. This woman is tied in with these elites, these secret societies, these cults, these celebrities, the Illuminati. That's what she's tied into. Yep, there's her celebrities right there. This woman knows that you're meant to step forward into the, the limelight here, and she didn't want this. You're the star. And she's trying to, like, claim your shine. That's who she is, this hateful, competitive narcissist. Jealous, competitive. 
uses her looks to get what she wants. Oh, I just heard her looks are fading. Oh, her looks are fading, by the way. So she's not able to get what she once did before. And that drives her crazy because this woman, all she cares about her is her self-image. She did not want you to step in your power. So you step in your power that much more. Oh, this heifer, I don't like you. I've got Earth, Pisces, Water, Fire, Water, Air, Water, Fire, Taurus, and Capricorn here. Sagittarius. Time is running out. Everybody's panicking. Oh no, oh no, what's happening? Oh, this woman's green with envy. Look at her. She's wicked, man. This was not a, meant to happen this way. It's very unexpected. Everybody's shocked that was involved with this situation. With the masculine, with you, with this union. So somebody has been trying to like get in this person's head about you, saying use your thoughts, think about this before you do this. This woman does not want to do. It's not working though. Somebody did not play their cards right here. Somebody's not playing games. Somebody is not meant to be played with here. And you're over here getting these wishes granted to you. Things that were once slowed down or they felt like they were stopped altogether. Everything is amplifying back up for you. Your thoughts are manifesting. Be careful with what you're telling yourself. Keep it positive, guys. Somebody's been doing things with your photographs. You've got some pictures on some altars, pictures in bottles, pictures with string, trying to bind you, stop you. They could have been lighting your pictures on fire. This woman's been doing anything in her power to stop you. She could have been doing things with your masculine's pictures as well. Somebody wants you to go backwards. Like you and your masculine both were meant to like go backwards in like old connections here. Keep revisiting the past. And that's not happening. Somebody's trying to come back and fix something, but they can't because somebody is no longer letting somebody come back with their old tactics anymore because somebody has changed themselves so much that they don't even want to hear the past bullcrap anymore. Somebody's reading between the lines and seeing the, the, the proof for what it is. This woman did not want this truth to come out. She didn't want this masculine to see the truth. She didn't want the feminine to see the truth or what this union was. And that's, it's all coming out. Somebody definitely has some kind of vial here to get you like to react. Somebody likes to shake up this vial to get you like get, get, to get angry, to get emotional. And you're not. You're very calm and collected. This woman has no more power over you anymore. And that burns her ASS up. You're hard to figure out. These people thought that they had your number pegged. They ain't got nothing pegged. You're hard to figure out. And you are somebody very powerful. Your masculine is somebody very powerful. You both are clearing up ancestral karma. You both have gifts from the ancestors that have been passed down to you. And you have a past life with this masculine. That's why this connection is so powerful. That's why everybody's trying to get in the way of it. Something was meant to happen in eclipse season in April. Didn't happen. Now there's balancing that needs to come out here with this eclipse energy that's here in this Libra season here. You both are rebels. You both do not stay conformed with what society tries to tell you. You both have been dealt with this type of energy where you're just like, conform, conform, conform. Neither one of you guys are conforming anymore. Somebody knows that something isn't going to work out to their liking here, but somebody keeps trying to... to to do something, but something keeps getting denied here. You and your masculine are just not entertaining anybody. You guys are wanting to come into union together. Somebody was trying to make it seem like somebody's a heartbreaker, or a heart like collects hearts, plays with people's feelings. That's not what's happening. So there's a lot of naysayers from feminine's past and masculine past that wants to try to come up with some kind of plan, like a story plan to make it seem like Anything to make you or your masculine not look at each other with good eyes is what the plan is. Because somebody chooses you. Somebody still wants this with you. So somebody's trying to figure out how to seduce and it's not working. Somebody's drinking. Somebody's trying to forget something here and it's not working. So if you have like issues with drinking, whether this is a masculine or a feminine, then we're changing this up as well. And we're activating our manifestations. Our power has been activated. We're, everything's coming to us easily now. Somebody is not happy because we're not battling with them anymore. We're not on the same page with people from the past anymore. And we're just not wanting to entertain it anymore. We've outgrown it. That's why things are being denied as well. Sagittarius. God, leave. you got an envious person here that is so mad. So much envy here. 
Tell me more. There's that gossiping. That's that popcorn that I felt at the beginning. These people wanted to gossip so bad on both of you guys, and it's not working. Somebody's depressed. This is somebody's karma to be depressed, to not be well. And you and you and your masculine both could have dealt with like depression here, and that's no longer issues for you. Tell me more. Something's outdated. They can no longer do what they did before because the old version of you is no longer there. And somebody knows that something's not working anymore. There's a fake apology trying to come back around. This could be on either one of your guys' ends here. So make sure you're seeing that deception for what it is. There's a private relationship and somebody doesn't want a contract to be aired out. Somebody's getting divorced from somebody here. And somebody's been having some kind of private relationship that... Again, there's a faulty contract that somebody's cloaking themselves as you. Somebody's trying to keep something private. It's not working. Tell me more. Expect a new beginning. Somebody knows that they effed up. we got a bunch of people involved with this situation that is very much aware that they know they effed up. That's why this horror show is, is playing out for these people. It's not good. These people end up betraying themselves. They thought this was all fun and games when they were causing this to you, but this is what they're getting now. Toxic. You both have dealt with some toxicity here. And then what's funny is that you both are being labeled as a toxic one from your people from your past here. Golly, these people involved in this whole situation don't want to see you guys together. Everybody's falling apart, falling into pieces because it's what they wanted for you. Wanted for the masculine. Anger management. So you and your masculine may have some anger issues. And that's okay. We're human. We have emotions. We have feelings. A lot of the times when we're being dealt with trauma and abuse, we get angry. And that's okay. That's like called reactive abuse when somebody pokes and pokes and pokes and then you react and then they sit back all calmly. They know what they're doing when they do that. The true hot-headeds are being showed for who they are game is over somebody can no longer manipulate something anymore and there's that copycat right there uh-huh this copycat has been cloaking herself in your energy she's a facade she's a fraud she needs to be removed her her time is over with she's getting old anyway she needs to go Sagittarius put a target on you big old money a big old payout over your head didn't work tell me more gossiping that's all these chicken heads do they all gotta run their mouth if they ain't running their mouth about somebody they got something in their mouth don't they yeah that's what chicken heads are these people are now going to experience what they wanted for you that is part of their karma might go into jail somebody was gossiping and trying to do things to make you go to jail somebody could have told your masculine that you had like a bad track record or that like you like, you deserve to be in jail. Like, somebody was trying to really punish you for something that is not who you are or not what you've done. Somebody was trying to frame you. It's not working. Tell me more. Somebody's stuck and powerless. Because they ain't got you stuck and powerless. They ain't got your masculine stuck and powerless. Everybody's snooping around on you and your masculine. And these are these controlling, hot-headed, oh, nasty energies here. They can no longer control There's an investigation happening. Something is being granted to you. An investigator is seeing something here. There's a depressed man here. Somebody's life is falling apart here in this process. And you get to move forward on your journey. Your masculine gets to move forward. You're leveling up. You're getting ready to take off. Somebody wanted you to go in a different direction. It's not working. Somebody wanted your masculine to go in a different direction. That's not working. And there's these covenants involved these practitioners that this woman's been paying to, to to attack you all these people are being attacked now i want you to understand how powerful you are to have all these covenants try to come for you this woman is in some kind of covenant here but she cloaks herself as somebody godly and she's not she's wicked somebody's scared yeah because people are getting attacked fake family real family involved Everybody laughing before, now they're in their feelings. And there is somebody here that's very much thinking about the outcome here. There's like, this could be a judge, that's, this could be representing a judge, or this could just be like a, this deep thinking, your mask on here. 
Somebody was trying to, somebody's been thinking about trying to send a charming energy your way. This could have already happened, and this still could be happening here. Somebody was trying to label you as like a Jezebel spirit, like a, in this industry here, but that's not the case. Somebody was, like this woman was even trying to, to get you sex trafficked away, and that's not working either. Somebody's having a light bulb moment here. You're on your own. You're chilling. You're by yourself. And this is frustrating this woman because she can't get to you like she's been trying to. She can't get to your masculine either. Your masculine has been tempted with like these, these women that use their body to get what they want. And this masculine is no longer impressed by that because masculine loves himself. He wants better for himself. Sagittarius. Somebody's at a distance from you. You're innocent. You're this innocent bystander in this whole situation. So this is why all these people that got themselves involved are getting attacked. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Betrayal and deception is what they wanted for you. This is what these people are getting now. Ooh, a lot of energy vampires here. You and your masculine both have dealt with energy vampires here. Siphoning your guys' energy. You guys both have very powerful energy. People are starting to have fallouts here. This is part of their karma. Because that's what they wanted for you. Ice queen. This is who this true woman is. She's an ice queen. Her heart's frozen. She's awful. Somebody wanted to label you as this. And this is what happens when we do put boundaries up. People want to label us as heartless and cold and selfish. We are none of those things. We are protecting our peace. Somebody wanted to say to your masculine that you were this ice queen. Somebody was trying to play games and it didn't work. Your masculine has dealt with an ice queen before. So it's like they try to trigger your masculine by bringing up his wounds from somebody that he's dealt with from his past. Whether it's a mother figure or somebody that they dated. So these people tried to play games and they realized that they didn't win nothing. Everybody's spying and watching. It's not working. Somebody wants to say that you're just too sensitive. No, we're not. We feel people's emotions. People that can no longer run over us anymore they'll try to say oh you're too sensitive that didn't happen that way you took that too seriously that's all gaslighting guys we're not going to listen to that so you're royalty and you're demanding your respect here you're calling in what's rightfully yours and you have been working to find your magic again because this woman here i'm gonna call her your handler She's suppressed your gifts and magic your entire life and you are now breaking out of this and you are now experiencing the true magic that you're meant to have your entire life, guys. So there's like love bombing energies that have been trying to come your way. That's not working. This masculine wants to come towards you the right way. There's a contract that's a death is going to take place. I keep getting this copycat's about to lose her life. And there's an ex that just doesn't want to like leave somebody alone. I don't know if this is a feminine or the masculine end, but there's definitely an ex energy that keeps trying to resurface here and something is not working out as they wanted it to. All right. Tell me about this woman. What's she doing? What's she involved in? I just seen the surveillance card just flipped over. So this woman's been surveilling, surveillancing you. So some of you guys may resonate being in the NK Ultra program and she's part of this. Tell me more. There's a marriage here with this woman, and she doesn't want to be caught. She wants to keep you stuck out here. She's stuck. She doesn't want this contract to happen because it airs out her false contract, her false marriage contract here. Tell me more. There it is. I knew it. This woman's part of this MK Ultra program. She is very much aware of who you are, and she's been siphoning not only your energy, but siphoning your finances your entire life. Your mind's been controlled. Tell me more. Somebody's trying to clean up. They can't clean this up. They've been trying to do everything they, they can to clean something up. Somebody was trying to get you to travel to, to achieve something and they can't get you to travel because they can't control your mind anymore. Tell me more. See, this woman keeps hiring accomplices to come up against you and it's not working. You're already supposed to be gone here. There's like a, a death certificate with your name on and you're still alive. And this woman's been surveillancing you. That's what this MK Ultra program does, guys. They pay people to abuse you, to ne neglect you, so you'll end up unaliving yourself or end up in the system. Whether it's a mental ward or prison is what the plan is. I mean, this follows you everywhere. It's pretty sick and twisted, guys. They attack you. They, they, 
They they do things to heat up your house. They they hire gang stalkers to attack you. Like I've got these yellow stains in my bathroom all over my walls. That is them like hitting these these um these attacks towards me. It, it's pretty sick and twisted, man. I literally could feel them one night hitting my brain when I got hit with that witchcraft back in April. I could hear my brain going. Wow, wow, wow. That's the kind of attacks that they do to you. It's sick. Somebody was trying to send like a crime of passion your way. This devil energy has been trying to take you out your entire life. So you could have dealt with a lot of abusive partners in your life. That's all part of the plan with this program to take you out, to get you to unalive yourself. That didn't work. And like I said, trying to get you locked into a mental ward. Prison even. It's not working. This woman's going to be dealing with what she wanted for you. I keep getting that. She's not doing good. She's Her life is gone. Somebody wanted to, to rip you apart. Jealousy. This woman is so jealous of you. Somebody's in regret because they know what's happening here. Uh-huh. Somebody's going to prison. This woman, if she's not, if her life's not ending, she's going to prison. Somebody was trying to do something to you in a wooded area and it didn't work. Somebody's got a lot of fraudulent activities in your name. You got a lot of property in your in in this copycat name that is claiming to be you. It's all over money. That's all this woman cares about is money. She's greedy. She's money hungry. And she'll pay out money to take you out is what the, the plan was here. It's not working. Sagittarius. Look at you. Sexual goddess. I'm telling you, you and your masculine got some very powerful, potent energy here. So you and your masculine both deal with like people going cuckoo over you after you have sex with them because of the energy that you guys put out. It's, it's very powerful. Tell me more. There you are. Mm -hmm. My God, imagine these two getting together. That's that's something else. You guys got the same love language here. The shadow self. You and your masculine both have been through your shadow self. You have to find your light. You have to get to the darkness. And this is what's happening for you and your masculine. We're getting rid of these toxic people in all areas of our lives. This is what's happening on you and your masculine's end. Reborn. You and your masculine have been reborn. This is beautiful. There's a light at the end of the tunnel here. After all this darkness and everything that you've been going through, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, guys. Both are practicing self-care. You and your masculine are both in the self-care journey. Beautiful. These people know what they've done. They can't deny it. You got a lot of people having to face their demons and they just don't simply want to. Some people are not going to face their demons because they don't want to change. It's not our responsibility to change people like that. We only hold mirrors up to make people see their ways. There are still these energies trying to figure out how to, to approach you. So you and your masculine both have to watch your backs now. And then there was some gossip being said to your masculine. Or it could have been said to you feminines even. People trying to say, watch your back. Don't go near this person. Like, it's alive you're still alive you're not supposed to be alive somebody tried to isolate you by somebody tried to dominate you by isolating you but this is where you stepped into your power got some people here that are trying to run and save themselves somebody is a copy this woman is inauthentic she's a copycat but she's trying to say that you're the copycat but she's a copycat that's why she's working so hard to convince everybody that you're the copycat we ain't doing that but there's your proof right there. Somebody wanted to hang you out to dry, stop you all together. Somebody is in their own disillusioned reality now for wanting this for you, for saying that this was who you are. That's what they're getting. This isn't good for these people. It definitely ain't good for this copycat. She's getting what's coming to her. Sagittarius. Somebody's been trying to create a love triangle to get in the way of this union. Tell me more. Somebody's been doing like obsession spells, love spells on you and your masculine. That's not working. And people are in their feelings because it's not working. Oh, golly, you got a lot of threatened people. People trying to force, force it on you. Force it on both of you. It's not working. These people are so threatened. Got a lot of people looking you up right now. Not happy with what they're seeing. You're the jackpot. This is what you're going towards. You're getting your inheritance. You're getting what's rightfully yours. And this, this heifer, this is why she's attached to your wealth. Because she wants to hold on to your wealth. It's your wealth. This woman was sitting here saying that you are the opportunist. That all you care about is money. But that's who she is. 
Got some gang stalkers here. That's what this program does. These gang stalkers do everything in their power to cause fear, paranoia. The, they leave hate comments under your videos here. Make sure you give these bullies the attention that they want because they clearly want it. They have to be validated. They, they need the approval. They got to have approval. Pfft, you guys are a joke. I hope you know that. So we're not going to pay attention to these any of these gang stalkers. I wish a gang stalker would approach me when I'm outside. I dare you guys to come towards me. I will beat the brakes off of you. I don't care. You guys are nothing. You're bullies. I like the bully bullies. Try me, ho. Hoes. These people want to make up nothing but things that they do about themselves, how they feel about themselves. That's what these bullies do. The lies that they smear and say about you is what they do, how they feel about themselves. Somebody's been trying to look through your comments. That's what these gang stalkers do, these bullies. We're so unbothered by you. We don't care what you guys think about us. You are so insignificant to us. You are nothing. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. Somebody is really analyzing things because they're not in your head. Somebody thought that they tuckered you out, played you out, and then they keep watching you through these fake accounts and they see you keep hustling. You keep rising up because this is what you're called to do. They can't stop you. <laughs> they can't stop you. Sagittarius. Healing, restoring, balancing. The more healing that you do, the more that these people are starting to feel the blows on you and your masculines in. I'm telling you, these people are exhausted by trying to do what they do. They can't stop either one of you. There's a confession coming in, and these influences have been going over time to try to stop it. That's why they're all panicking. They're like, they're they're on a hamster wheel, and they're not getting the outcome that they want. Tell me more. The truth and the clarity is coming out, and these people are panicking, especially this, this copycat of yours. She has a self-image to maintain, and the, the fact that people are going to look at her in a bad lighting, oh, shit, it, this woman can't handle it. She cares too much what people think about her. Tell me more. You're withdrawing. You're finding peace and solitude, and this is empowering you. This is like stopping people from able to, to come at you and attack you because you're, you're rocking on your own, and so is your masculine right now. Tell me more. And this is making everybody conflicted here because they can't stop you or your masculine. People are realizing that they can't stop this bond from happening. They, they know that something is coming together, that they can't stop it. People have been trying to get you and your masculine to chase after them, and you guys ain't doing this. You're pushing it away. You're blocking it out. People that once avoided you, blocked you, only to make you try to mend it, it's not working anymore. And this is making people think. Even family members were trying to come up against the both of you. Trying to distract you because it's a strong past life connection and they've been doing everything in their power to stop it. People are trying to to come towards you in like a broken manner, you or your masculine. They're, they're trying to play the victim because they can't break you. These people keep thinking one day something's going to work, but these boundaries keep getting enforced. Good. There's a masculine here that's been trying to long for a feminine and it's not working. And then your true masculine is longing for you right now. People are shocked that they can't create this fantasy illusion that they've been trying to. This soulmate, even though the distance between the two of you, this person definitely is very much aware that you are their person from a past life. This is why everybody's panicking so much. They know that they can't stop this. They can't stop you. They can't stop this masculine. And they can't stop this union. And what's rightfully your guys' is when you come together. So... All right, beautiful Sagittarius, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.